and welcome back to another video. So, uh, today's sketchbook session, I kind of wanted to get back into a little bit of painting. Um, now that we're almost, uh, I guess we are halfway uh, through Inktober basically. So I'm getting a little bit all inked out. Um, the last few prompts that I did for uh, Inktober didn't go so well, but that's okay. So I am going back and doing some gouache painting and that is what we are going to be doing today. So here I am going to be showing you guys some stuff in real time and then we'll kick it into time lapse for the actual painting portion or like the gouache painting portion so that this video won't be super duper long. So for the sketch, I use the Pilot Color Eno and I use the Prismacolor Cole Erase for the sketch. Uh, usually when I do any kind of painting, I like to sketch with the Prismacolor Cole Erase just because it's much easier for me to erase and adjust as well as it dissolves in water so I can um, kind of buff out the lines if I really needed to. And as long as like the area is not like a white uh, object or white clothing or anything of that sort, usually red doesn't really hinder and show up too much. And then I like using the Prismacolor Cola Race pencil in Carmine Red to go over any of the lines that I want to keep for sure. And that's usually lines that I don't want to accidentally lose um, due to water kind of like dissolving it due to the other one being more water soluble. Uh, and then you saw that I used it like used a kneaded eraser to erase some of my fainter lines. And this because I have the Carmine Red already done on top of my rough sketch, those ones will remain because it's a lot harder for it to budge rather than my pilot color, like my pilot color, you know, uh, pencil. And now I am going in with watercolor to actually do a lot of the base color as well as rough color for the entire piece. So I kind of underestimated how rusty I am um, in terms of using gouache again. So later on when you guys see me using gouache, I kind of push, oh, maybe I should, let me explain this first actually now that I, I remember um, and I don't get too sidetracked. I'm drawing Alira, uh, Alira Pandora from Niji Sanji EN. Um, it was basically her birthday yesterday by the time this is posted, I believe. Um, and I wanted to draw her because I was listening to her, I believe her birthday stream, like a good portion of it. I watched, um, the unarchived English karaoke stream and I watched the Japanese karaoke stream. So because I was just like watching her pretty much for like the entire day on Sunday, I wanted to actually just draw her. The other options that I had was actually I wanted to either draw Fu Chan or like Fulger, who's also part of like Niji Sanji EN. But I decided not to do that just because I was in a very Alira mood. So maybe I'll go and do a different drawing for Fulger. Just because like he did release a song recently and I really do like it. Um, and then the other thing I could have drawn was actually Shinyan. So Shinyan from Genshin Impact because it was also her birthday. And I love Shinyan a lot. So I was going to do fan art. But I believe in a few other sketchbooks. Uh, I did paint her like I think twice with gouache. So it won't be too new. So maybe I'll do something else um, for that. We'll see. There's like a lot of things I do want to tackle drawing and I don't know if I want to tackle drawing it traditionally or digitally. And if I do it traditionally, I do want to do that painting or illustration in watercolor and not in gouache. And we'll get into that in a little bit. So um, you can see I'm adding in all of my rough colors here with watercolor just to help me establish um, a lot of my val not my values, Sometimes I do it for values, but a lot of the time I just want to put down colors and kind of get the atmosphere to what I want. And when I'm using watercolor, I have a lot more control with value. Um, but when I use gouache, I immediately make everything a little bit more darker and a little bit more saturated, which is usually not what I'm going for. So I'm going to be trying to correct stuff as I'm going to go on with the painting. I'll explain that in a bit. Um, but because this paper is not designed for like painting or watercolor. You can see that on the left page, you see those like little red splotches that appeared in the flowers, even though I'm not using like red paint or anything. So basically on the back side of that, I have, I think Vox's Inktober prompt on the back. And because I oversaturated the water on the page, 
for some reason the marker kind of like bled through and kind of like sucked its way through the page and like left these weird dots so sometimes this paper kind of gives like splotches almost due to moisture but i'm not too sure what exactly causes it um because it sometimes happens and sometimes doesn't so um i'm not too sure what exactly causes it but now uh, i am working on the gouache painting portion so usually when i do gouache painting and i'm drawing like a figure and stuff i usually like doing portraitures because i just love drawing the face so i usually start with the skin around the face and like any of those areas first and then we'll kind of move around to the eyes the hair the clothing and stuff and then background elements i should have probably worked on the background elements like prior because i do get into a, a situation where i'm accidentally covering up some of the details or some of the line work that i did on alira and i could have remedied that by actually doing the background first so that it's actually in the back and then kind of put the foreground elements on top kind of working in a little bit more of a efficient way if you could say um but like i said so when i like when i paint with gouache it does appear a lot darker a part of it is because when it dries, it appears more darker than when it is first applied. Um, another thing is that I really need to clean up my palette. So Alira has a lot of more lighter colors. Like her sweater is white with like a nice kind of like warm purple for stripes on her sweater. She kind of has like a beige overalls um, and her hair is more on the light blue side. Kind of more like cooler blue rather than a warmer blue. I know she has like an alternate outfit kind of more like uh is it made outfit i'm not too sure it's like a or not kind of like kimono or yukata vibes basically the made ones pomus but yeah but in that outfit she has more of like warmer more purpley blue hair but this one she does have more of like uh closer to cooler tones of blue so closer to like greens i guess if that makes sense so I was trying my best to mix a little bit more of a turquoise color and kind of get that in there as well. And you can see that I added a little bit more of a yellowy green under the highlights just so I can incorporate that coolness because I realized that I made her hair too dark too quickly. And that's usually not a problem if you're working with gouache because you can usually layer up a lot of your lighter colors on top anyways and you know, you'd be fine with it. Or not fine with it you can deal with it that way unlike watercolor is that if you go dark too quickly unless you're planning to lift it by oversaturating your paper with water and dabbing away the excess paint usually you can't pull back your highlights after you lay down like the darker colors so yeah i kind of want to redo this piece or kind of do another piece like this with watercolor similar to like how i did the one of millie I want to do it on probably my Paul Rubens hot press paper uh, pad thing. It just probably be a little bit easier and I can probably get the atmosphere that I would like. Um, because like I said, I go dark a little bit too quickly with gouache and I don't mind it. But for this one of Alira, I definitely wanted the colors to be a lot more brighter, a little bit more less saturated and just more on the pastel side, if that makes sense. And I think I had an okay version when i first laid down the watercolor portion but as i was working with the hair i kept making it darker and i was like thinking my brain like oh it's okay if it gets too dark like on the upper right i'll make it a lot lighter because i kind of want the light to come from that side but even though i tried my best to kind of like push back the highlights or not push back the highlights bring out the highlights and push back the shadows and the darkness of the hair i kind of i kind of gave up and I just left it as is and just try to make her hair look a little bit more vibrant instead because the blues that I was mixing on my palette so if you've ever seen my gouache palette I don't remember like I don't remember if I've shown it in other videos the whole surface is basically covered and I have like different spots for different colors and because I don't usually paint with like pastel colors I don't really have room for it unless I clear out space so I thought that if I keep adding white to a certain well that I'll be able to get to like the light color that I wanted and initially I did but every time I try darkening it up just like little by little I realized that you know it, it takes a lot of lighter pigments to really brighten up already like dark uh 
pool of paint rather than the opposite obviously so usually it's best to work light to dark but because I kind of like hop around when I paint so I like I would paint her hair like her skin then her hair the eyes then the sweater it's like I don't really pick light areas to dark areas I kind of pick section by section depending on like the object or the area that I'm drawing instead so yeah like I said, I feel a lot more rustier than before um, because I haven't painted with gouache in a bit. I'm gonna see and look back in my sketchbook for the last time I've actually painted in gouache. I think the last time I painted with gouache was made, like, might have been the Luca piece. Oh no, there's another piece. Uh, I did one of Masaki that I didn't show you guys because I didn't record it for a video, but then other than that, it was the Luca piece. I do think, like, looking back at the sketchbook, there's a painting in here. I think, it, yeah, I recorded that. It. It's like Eki Evelyn's, like Ike Evelyn, but like the, the flipped version, I guess. I think that painting in particular is probably my favorite. And I kind of wish I had the same amount of patience for that that I did for this one. Because I think Alira could have turned out a lot cuter if I took more time to just like, you know, slowly paint as I go rather than kind of rushing. Um, other than that, I do like my Miku one as well. The Miku cinema roll one. That one's really cute too. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to paint because kind of like itching the paint, but also I wanted to use the gouache to my advantage to see if I could cover up some of the bleed through from Vox's uh, Inktober prompt. So like I said, the paper's not really designed to take in a lot of moisture and when I'm doing the Inktober prompts, I'm doing them with water-based markers usually. Um, for Voxes, I actually did pull, like, pull out one of my other needlepoint pen markers just because I wanted to have a little bit more of a striking black for his hair and his hakama maybe? I don't remember if that's what it's called but I wanted to have something pop from it because it had more like reds and yellows in his piece. Um, Speaking of Inktober, so the reason why I didn't want to do an inking video for today is that, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm kind of like Inktobered out already, and I didn't like... Let me look back at my prompts. So starting from shoes page, so day 13, day 14, day 15, <laughs> I don't really like any of the ones I've drawn, so I think once after I do the first 26 days, I'll pick some of the ones that I've drawn what I deem poorly and do a redemption. I want to redo the one I did for Anna as well. Because Anna's like, she literally looks like a five minute scribble and I hate it. Um, so I do definitely want to redo that one. I think my favorite from the prompts was actually the one I did for Millie and Remu, probably. So on Halloween, um, I'll definitely have a video up because I'll probably do day 31 after midnight so that I can get that up for you guys um, for Halloween and show you guys a quick kind of like mini Inktober sketchbook tour. Um, Cause I don't, I don't know. I don't think Inktober is gonna make me finish the sketchbook. If it does, for whatever reason, I'll see if I can film a sketchbook tour. But I, I feel like I can't. Um, not for Halloween anyways. Um, because I usually like doing the last page of my sketchbook with gouache or something on the back page pertaining to what I did on the cover of the first uh, portion of the sketchbook, which happens to be my OC Akami. So, and it has like clouds, a moon, and a star. So we'll probably pull that theme back for the, the back panel of my sketchbook. Uh, but yeah, I pretty much just rambled my way through the whole entire thing. So for Alira's painting, I actually had a lot of fun doing the sweater portion and parts of the hair. Like I said, there are some parts I dislike, but I do like that one curl that sweeps in from the right. And the general highlights on her bangs look kind of cute. But I really like the colors that I did for the sweater because I love mixing that warm, cool tones, kind of getting that messier, paintier vibe from them. And then, yeah, I think that's about it. I left the flowers to be really simple because I actually lost a lot of the lines and I think, like I mentioned, if I spent more time just like slowly painting, I probably would have painted the flowers one by one and got a better look. I know it would have been a lot slower and probably less efficient, but I think like overall if I spent more time, 
would look prettier. But yeah, maybe in the future I'll do like a redemption video for this one. I'll either paint it with watercolor or paint it with, um, do it like digitally. Cause I wanna, I do wanna draw a Lyra again. I really like drawing um, a lot of the people from Niji Sanji, but Alira, like, I do want to draw her in more of, like, hydrangeas, hydrangeas, hydrangeas? I don't remember how to say that word, but yeah, with those kinds of flowers and stuff, because I think it really fits her, as well as Uki. Oh, there is, like, a very sneak peek of the Vox doodle I did for Inktober that bled through to the other side. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. Hope you guys have a wonderful start to the week, and I'll talk to you guys next time in the next video. Bye.